Hello everyone, so I just want to point out a small problem that you might be experiencing on your printer. Um, maybe when you move some of your axes, um, here's the why, you can feel sometimes um, that it tends to bind or be uh, a bit tougher to move, tougher than easier, tougher than easier as you're sliding it. So you'll have a tough spot and then it'll be easy, uh, easy and smooth. Then it'll get tough again uh, every couple centimeters. Um, and you, you can experience this on all three, uh, mostly your uh, X and Y. Uh, the Z, a different issue because you have rods instead of belts. But I want to show you what causes that issue. If you'll look right down here and watch this pulley as it spins. And you can actually, I'm, I'm just putting a slight amount of pressure on just to get the belt pressure uh, correct. And you can see what the pulley and the motor are doing. That is what's giving you that um, tight and loose alternating feeling. So uh, what I've pinned this down to is on this motor, uh, the shaft isn't bent, thankfully. Uh, what happens is seems that these two uh, set screws and just the way that this uh, pulley is designed um, in general um, causes the pulley to not sit straight on the shaft as soon as you tighten these down it pulls the uh, this back end of the pulley forward and uh, creating an uneven and unbalanced pulley so I'll just show you one more time Uh, and this should be fixable by getting better pulleys or um, doing some modifications to this existing pulley, which I might be uh, experimenting with here in a moment. All right, everyone. So I've got a small update on the situation. Uh, I was able to get on Amazon, and uh, I'll post links uh, to make it a little bit easier. Um, 24-hour delivery of the uh, aluminum version of the pulleys so um, All of your stepper motors are going to take this type of pulley here Let's see if we can get it in focus It's a 2GT-20-5 So 2GT is the style of pulley 20 is the number of teeth and 5 is the diameter of the center hole so um your y-axis and your x-axis will take these so uh you'll want to get two of them so that you can repair your y uh x-axis as well because uh, i've noticed that these plastic pulleys just uh, do not cut it um at the top of your z you'll have two of these as well uh, this is a 2GT 25-8. Uh, that means 25 teeth and dash 8 is 8 millimeter bore because your, uh, Z linear rods are 8, 8 mil. So, uh, I'll post links for both of those. Um, I didn't find the 20s on, um, Amazon. I'm sorry, the 25s on Amazon, only the 20s. Um, so I found the 25s, they're, they're much harder to find, but I found them on AliExpress. I'll post a link for that as well. Uh, it was eight bucks for half a dozen uh, of the uh, 20s and roughly the same price for, I think I got 10 of the uh, 25s, but uh, they're, it's both, it's peanuts. <clears throat> but if you'll observe the difference here, which in the last video and now, Look how perfect that is. Beautiful. No binding. Uh, this is going to preserve the, le the um, life of the stepper motor because uh, it doesn't have that constant um, tightening and then loosening. It's going to prolong the length of the belt because it's not being stretched when it's overly tight. And uh, this should significantly improve uh, print quality as well because uh, if the stepper motor is having variable... Um, 
friction, then uh, the speed's likely to be affected as well. And I was starting to hear clicks and whatnot. It wasn't sounding good. But this is going to be great. So you can see how much better these work. Uh, they, they cost nothing. Uh, you know, a dollar or two. It costs nothing. And the uh, situation's perfect again. Alright, so uh, like I said, you'll want to replace both. You know, you'll want minimum of two of these. One for X, one for Y. And a minimum two of the aluminum 25s from AliExpress for um, each of your linear rods. The, uh, the opposite sides where you have the belt tensioning, I just don't think it's that important. Um, they're not on a post such as this. Um, they actually have a rod that goes all the way through and is holding on both sides. So there's not really much opportunity for those to be crooked. I don't think the plastic ones on the far end are uh, worth or if it's necessary to replace them. I really think just uh, X and Y stepper motors on both of the uh, ones at the top of the Z uh, will do the job. And this printer will skyrocket in usability and print quality and longevity. Alright, I uh, hope this helps. Check the links for uh, the product and um, good luck.